Okay, so today what I thought I'd do is take you through a really simple uh, relaxation technique for the body and mind. And uh, to get into that third phase, often um, these meditations that I do often for astral travel, really they're good meditations in themselves. And the whole thing is to, often people say, well, what's the difference between having a nap and meditating? Really, it's your level of consciousness. Ideally, you want to stay awake when you do these meditations. That's why sitting up is good as well. Lying down is fine, but you might fall asleep. So the trick is to uh, feel, kind of clearly delineate this notion of relaxing the body, the mind, and moving to that third phase of awareness that we loosely term uh, awareness or consciousness or uh, what I often term in this particular context is the astral body. But as I said, even if you're not interested in astral travel or astral projection, it's also about um, just developing this state of awareness that can take you away from physical tension. So removing these layers of physical and mental tension is really important. So even when there's sounds going on around you, you know, it doesn't matter, it can be quite busy. You know, um, years ago I used to live in, in Vienna in Austria in this tiny apartment and um, my wife, who was then my girlfriend, um, plays the flute and she used to like play the flute and we had a tiny one bedroom apartment I would lie down on the couch, like literally um, a meter away from her playing. She'd be playing so loud and I could easily meditate or have a nap or whatever I wanted to do with this massive sound going on. So it is a question of uh, moving inside yourself and um, anyway, let's, let's do it anyway now. I think you're going to enjoy the, the process. So sitting down with a reasonably upright back is good. You can lie down, but as I suggested, sitting down, sit down for sleep. Just feeling into your body and uh, what you're going to do is put your awareness all through your body now. And we're going to move our awareness to our, your left foot. And when you put your awareness to your left foot, it will relax. So awareness equals relaxation, that's what you'll find. So this can be visual awareness, it can be kinesthetic awareness, doesn't matter. So you can picture in your mind your left foot and, then, and you can imagine the arch of the foot releasing, toes releasing. So in this moment, your left foot isn't playing the role of supporting you while you stand. You're acknowledging your left foot for the sake of acknowledging it. So you're allowing it to relax. Right now, just letting it relax. Awareness is relaxation. And so this meditation is quite pacey, deliberately. Sometimes I'll talk a bit louder if I feel you're losing consciousness. So anyway, relaxing the left foot with awareness, purely with awareness, allowing your breath to move freely, sometimes deeper, and particularly on the out breath, but also the in breath, releasing any tension in the left foot. Now imagine moving your awareness to your left ankle. Imagine if you're like a ball of awareness around your left ankle, like a translucent crystal ball. As it moves up your left ankle to your left shin, you can kind of see the ankle and shin distorting within this translucent kind of crystallish ball of energy. And that's relaxing when it does that. Moving up to your, all the way to your left knee. Feeling the left knee relaxed. After a while, it gets really easy to do this. Allowing the breath what it wishes to do. The, the breath is a great vehicle for relaxation and awareness. So sometimes you feel the need to sigh or release. Moving this awareness to your left upper leg. Thigh all the way to the left hip. So now your left leg is very relaxed. Imagining your left leg now really free and letting go. Moving to your right leg, your right foot, the instep, toes, everything just releasing. It's almost like the right foot has a chance to press the pause button from the role it plays and just allowing it to release. Even on that micro level, you know, all these little twitch muscles just letting go. 
this ball of awareness now around your ankle, moving up your left lower leg and of course enlarging as it moves up your calf muscle. Releasing as it goes to your, to your, sorry did I say left, I mean your right leg now of course, your right knee, this ball of awareness down moving up your right upper leg to the right hip and letting go. Both legs really relax and your mind is very present. Your mind is enjoying this experience. Your mind is very present. Keep the mind coming back to what we're actually doing. And that's feeling into your body. Move to your lower torso now. Often that lower torso we hold on to things. Think of the clenching we have. That lower chakra, re chakra re-releasing, lower spine. The muscles, the organs in that lower torso. Let them let go. Awareness equals relaxation. There's nothing you're adding on here, you're letting go. It is all about letting go with awareness. And your mind is very present, enjoying this experience of releasing, moving to your mid torso now, this ball of energy, if you like, moving up into your mid torso, mid spine, the organs, the muscles, everything in there all the systems releasing. And it feels so good to do this, doesn't it? It feels so good to let go. That in itself is a profound message, a profound sign, the fact that it feels good to let go. Letting go of any clenching, any holding, moving up to your upper torso. And of course, at home, you can take as long as you want when you do this. I'm just letting it move through. Now, after a while, your system become so tuned into this. So I can do this really in a few seconds with my whole body. And this is the um, kind of cornerstone to, for me, for meditation is relaxing the body and mind first. Upper torso releasing, heart, the lungs, think of all those organs and your upper spine releasing. And you're putting awareness through. It's like you're acknowledging your presence, your physical presence right now. That in itself is, is a, is a good thing to do. Your mind is very alert in the best sense, very present and enjoying this experience. Move your awareness now. So your whole torso is very, very relaxed all the way up to your shoulders, back of the upper back as well. Moving to your left hand now, letting go of the spring that is the left hand, nothing to grab onto. Think of uh, metaphorically, think of what that entails this notion of grabbing onto concepts and things like this. This is not about learning something, it's about doing it, it's about being it. Releasing the left hand with awareness, moving to your left wrist, allowing the breath to do the wishes, your mind is very present with this experience, enjoying it, moving to your left lower arm, this ball of awareness moving up all the way to your left elbow, Relaxing as it goes along, using the breath out and in to release any tension, any superficial tension in the body, moving all the way up to the <clears throat> left upper arm to the left shoulder. Left arm very relaxed, moving to the right hand, letting go, nothing to grab onto. Letting go. Moving to the right wrist. Moving this ball of awareness up your right lower arm to the right elbow, releasing as it goes. You can imagine seeing the arm distorting within this ball of awareness up your right upper arm to your right shoulder. Letting go. Feels good. <clears throat> now I'm going to move this awareness into your throat, your neck, upper spine, into your jaw, letting go with awareness, your gums, your teeth your lips, your sinuses, your cheekbones, your cheeks, your eye sockets, your eyeballs, eyelids, your nose, of course, your forehead, the place of the cranium, back of the head, inside the head, releasing with awareness. And the mind is still very present, enjoying this whole experience. Feel into any areas of your body that you're still holding. <clears throat> Just feel into those areas. 
sense them and you'll notice with sense with sensation with awareness once again relaxation comes allow that to happen into the spine as well now you're going to quickly release the mind that is associated with the parts of the body so you don't need to know what that is your mind knows what it is releasing often through trauma or injury we actually use the body as a storage system for trauma and for things that often don't necessarily serve us. You don't need to know what that is. Specifically, releasing the mind associated with the left foot, letting it go, left ankle, lower leg, knee, upper leg, hip. Releasing the mind with the right foot, ankle, lower leg, knee, upper leg, hip. Releasing the mind with the lower torso. Releasing the mind associated with the mid torso, upper torso. Releasing the mind associated with the right hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder. Releasing the mind associated with the right hand, wrist, Lower arm, elbow up on the shoulder, releasing the mind to the throat and neck. Releasing the mind associated with the jaw, the gums, the teeth, the lips, the cheeks, cheekbones, sinuses, nose, many of the passages, eyeballs, eyes, eyes, sockets, eyelids, forehead, cranium, brain, total spine. Releasing the body, releasing the mind. And it feels good and you're still very present with this experience allowing the sounds outside of you to release their labels the need to label them allowing your ears to expand and relax and release as well and everything in between them allowing your breath to do what it wants to do sensing in the body once again to sense whether there's any tension releasing that kind of roving around like little roving pac-men going through your body with awareness, releasing any tension. Taking a nice deep breath and enjoying that breath. Noting that it just feels good to do this. It feels good. And as I've said, I've deliberately left some windows open to let sounds come in because I want to let them wash over me because all they are are vibrations as is everything around us. Noting also this feeling of feeling good is closer to the default, closer to what we are. It's just letting go of the holding pattern that we think we are. And so it wasn't an add-on to feel good. That in itself is extremely profound. This notion that we can let go and feel good. To me that's profound. This Feeling good for want of a better expression, feeling content is closer to the default of our systems. Not to blow my trumpet too much, but having been out of the body a lot and feeling these really high vibratory states of bliss, of absolute bliss, the universe is absolute benevolence. No matter what goes on here in the illusion, know that it is this benevolence that steers all things. And, and in truth, that's what we are. So sensing within yourself this, once again, this heart chakra, this beautiful ball of light along the column of energy that goes, extends from above your crown, all the way through your body, roughly along the spine and around the spine, out through the base. Sense this ball of energy along this, along this um, column of energy, ball of light, around your heart center, let it expand. And really this is where we are now. We're beyond the body and mind. And we've gone into the state of heart-centered awareness. Sense this expanding all through your energy body, which is beyond the physical body. Sense the throat chakra also a ball of light, expanding translucent ball of white light, which has lots of colors in it as well. Also in the center of the head, expanding at the crown, expanding out above the crown. The solar plexus, expanding, sacral, expanding, just below the belly button. Base chakra, and below the base chakra, many chakras expanding. So you're filling your field up with this sense of awareness. It is beyond the body and the mind. We're moving into the state of, uh, a third state of consciousness. And I like to call this moving to astral awareness. 
Astral awareness is actually the bridge body of awareness. This is a, a literally your star body. Okay, astral comes from the Latin word astra, meaning star. And it is the body that bridges realities. It is our body, a cosmological body. That is a traveler body. It's a vehicle. So since you're moving awareness into this greater sense of self, the astral body sits outside the physical body. Imagine its eyes open. Because it's a larger body, its eyes approximate in terms of where they actually are with the third eye, with the, the forehead of the physical body. It's like a triangle. You have the astral eyes open here and they kind of open down to, to the third eye. So it's kind of this whole area is like a triangle, if you like, by opening up to this greater level of awareness. Imagine like a cone out the crown. So imagine you have this astral body that is now coming to awareness. Its eyes are open, your physical eyes remain closed. This astral eyes, while your physical body remains still, is kind of looking at itself. You know, It doesn't need to move its body to look at its astral arms and astral legs and around itself. Sense how it would feel to be in this um, body of awareness greater than the physical, so your energy systems have permeated the pores of the physical and have moved into the greater body. This astral body is able to see behind. I can see behind the chair. I have a sense of the room around me. I have a sense of everything around me without needing to judge it. It just is. And it's this sense of detachment, this sense of just being the wonder of beingness that assists your multidimensional bodies in awakening because we lose this sense of fear of being outside of or inside of something greater. And imagine this body that is growing around you. Imagine now it's pulling away from you and moving upward. Often with the sense of astral travel there's a sense of movement. Generally it happens when you're sleeping, but here we are priming your multidimensional body, which is always a good thing to prime the multidimensional body because that also helps your lucid bodies when you sleep, awaken. And believe me, our higher aspects of ourselves are wishing us to awaken as well in this way, to have more lucid dreams, to be more lucid when we're, to be more awake when we're in this reality as well. And so imagine this astral body rising out of your physical body toward the roof. It's an interesting feeling, isn't it? This lifting of this body. Moving through the roof. Even. And even though it's daytime or maybe it's nighttime, or it doesn't matter when you do it. When you look, when you pass through the roof, you can see all of the stars around. It doesn't matter what time of day. And you sense all the light. So one of the most beautiful experiences when you first go out of body and you experience that above your roof. And you sense all of this life force coming through to you and you can sense all of the intelligence in space. And it's such a, a, a wonderful feeling of belonging. It's a feeling of home. You have this tremendous sense of home. And allowing yourself to draw that, those feelings in of intelligence, of guidance, <coughs> of greater guidance. Allowing yourself to loll around in that space a bit. Sense the smile within your heart and within your body. Now bringing that back down through the roof, you see your physical body. And it's okay to see your physical body outside. I remember the first time I did it, I was kind of horrified. <coughs> because... Um, you know, from the astral sense, from a higher perspective, you sense this vulnerability in the physical body. Um, and it was kind of, kind of a weird feeling, this feeling that I could see all of the alleged imperfections I carry within my posture, these feelings of failure or whatever, and I knew that that was not true. And I knew that really um, this vulnerability that we have is really a great strength in the physical vulnerability. It's kind of a, it's a, beautiful sense of humanity we have and but we often think that it is some kind of frailty you know some kind of failure so from the astral perspective i could sense my perceptions of limitation and failure within the mortal framework and it actually sickened me when i was out of body the first time because i knew it wasn't true and i didn't want to be around that it was really interesting so it really helps you, astral awareness really helps you uh, really 
um, move into that true notion of self-love, which is really, I think, what the human experience is all about, is self-acceptance and self-love, of self-love. Um, because, of course, in the end, we are all one. So then pulling down and merging around the astral body, feeling your form merging around the astral body. Everything comes through the astral into the physical, so the astral body is a preemptive body, so it's connected to your clear senses. And the so-called sixth sense is the astral body. And um, so you have this sense of deja vu after a while, this feeling that everything will be all right, everything will be perfect. You know that it's all played out. We're just in a linear perception of it all. And that gives you a great sense of comfort, even in these really strange times where we feel the structure is being ripped from under our feet, and that nothing is real, and what is real, what is tangible, what is actually happening. And so, having that beautiful sensation of this astral body around you, imagine it is always awake. The astral body can always be awakened. So you're acknowledging this greater sense of yourself, which is very powerful in itself, a very powerful process in itself. You're breathing life of awareness into this. If we disregard a sense that we have, of course, it goes into dormancy. When we start to acknowledge it and feel into it, it starts to wake up. It's really so simple. In the very beginning, when I started going out of body, I just wanted to scream this realization from the rooftops to people that we can actually self-experience multidimensionality and, and the, the fantastic journeys and the realizations transformation and enlightenment is, that comes with this. But most people are kind of, you know, thinking, oh yeah, looking back at their TV shows that put them in the box. So really, and what you sense also is this tremendous feeling of, tremendous feeling of well-being, as well as having fantastic insights and things. Anyway, this is, there's so much we can discuss about this, but right now, feeling into your astral body around the physical sense, the chakras that are very, very active in the in the astral body. The, I remember being first shown the astral body and being shown these structures of the chakras, which I didn't really have anything to do with before that. So they correlate with our endocrine systems, with our organs and everything. So by touching into and interfacing with your chakra system, you are literally kind of um, touching into those aspects that preempt the physical. So you are really healing the physical from within. And the beautiful thing about the physical body is that it sits within it. It's nurtured by this astral body and the greater body. So your, your physical body is, is being nurtured uh, by these greater bodies. And that's a beautiful feeling. You're not alone in that sense. You know? You're always encased within this. And that's a wonderful feeling. Very empowering too. So sensing your, your our astral body around your physical, now moving your awareness. And know that it's always there and always awakened if you wish it to be. Now moving once again to your physical sphere of awareness. Feel it as a buzz. Feels good. Feels nice. You're acknowledging an aspect of your astral and greater bodies which is within the physical because the physical is the heart, if you like, of these other bodies. And particularly in 3D, this is where we are kind of embedded at the moment. So this is where our sphere of experience is in the 3D. So this truly is a feeling of bringing these, anchoring in these other realities and other frequencies into the 3D body, which is a beautiful thing. We're not just escaping the 3D, we're actually bringing a greater reality into this, which is very comforting, very healing and very enlightening. Feeling the breath in your body, feeling, while maintaining that sensation of the astral awareness around you, feeling the breath in your physical body, feeling your awareness in your hands, awareness in your feet, in your whole body, feeling the chair below you. And when you're ready, just open your eyes very gently, and you'll notice around you the sensations are quite stronger, the feelings of light and, and um, dimension. That is a beautiful thing to do. And this is um, a little bit like the chakra cleansing I did the, the other day, this physical and mental relaxation while staying alert and present with it, then moving into that third phase of awareness, consciousness, or whatever you want to call it, they're all words. Um, it's just a beautiful place to touch. And that is kind of your launch pad to the astral experience, the multi-dimensional experience, which I think a lot of you will now be quite interested with, especially as to what's going on, because you're able to see into a lot of structures as well from a detached perspective. That's at some stage I'll share with you some of the experiences I'm having um, in these times. So I hope you enjoy that. And um, 
Let me know any questions you might have on that. Do stay in contact. I think it's good in these times to stay in contact. And I'm sure I'll see you again soon.